The Paramount trial is positive. Certainly the primary endpoint progression-free survival was met. We see a significant and uh, I would argue clinically meaningful improvement in progression-free survival, but we have not yet seen survival data. I think I will be convinced of the efficacy of continu continuation maintenance once I see the survival data. And uh, by the same token, if the PFS benefit does not translate into an overall survival benefit, I'm going to have to step back a bit and really wonder whether continuation maintenance um, is worth the potential of additional toxicity. Is PFS alone sufficient to justify uh, its use, particularly when we have other switch maintenance alternatives? Now, if somebody is getting a paclitaxel carboplatin combination up front, based on the uh, JMEN trial, it's perfectly reasonable to then give them pemetrexid maintenance. And based on the Saturn trial, potentially give them relotinib maintenance. Um, the JMEN, the Paramount trial clearly justifies uh, the use of pemetrexid maintenance in patients who previously received pemetrexid, at least insofar as progression-free survival is concerned, but we have not yet seen the survival data. The other critical question uh, that applies to Paramount uh, has also been raised in the context of JMEN. What about crossover? What percentage of the patients in the control group actually did, in fact, go on to pemetrexid? or another validated second-line treatment at the time of disease progression. Uh, here, too, those are critical uh, data that we've not yet seen.